hi everyone in this video we are going to discuss while loop in python before starts today's session let us try to recall what have we discussed in our previous lecture that is lecture 27 when do we use for loop execution method for the for loop what is the use of range function how to generate numbers with range function how to use range with for loop after watching this video you will get the knowledge about what is while loop when do we use while loop what is the indefinite loop what is infinite loop we covered we have three categories of the control statements those are selection statements iterative statements and transfer statements again in the selection statements we have three categories those are if statement if else statement and if elif else statements we covered if statement with help of the examples in lecture 25 we covered if else statement if elif else statements in the lecture 26 so with that selection statements part is over now second category of the control statement is iterative statements in the previous lecture that is 27th lecture we covered for loop one of the iterative statements and the second category of the iterative statement is while loop that is we are going to cover in this session as we covered already the main purpose of the looping concept is to execute a statement or set of the statements repeatedly coming to the while loop while loop can be used to execute set of the statements as long as the given condition is true in the syntax of the while loop we are going to create one condition if the condition is true the statement or set of the statements of the while loop will be executed repeatedly when the condition found to be a false then the control comes out from the while loop this is the execution procedure for the while loop see the syntax of the while loop while is a keyword space expression nothing but generally we use the term condition condition is also an expression after the expression we must write colon and you must give the indentation then you can write the single statement or set of the statements with the same indentation this indentation indicates the statements are within the while loop you must write this indentation if you write a statement out of this indentation the meaning of that is the statements are not in the while loop while loop is also called indefinite loop because generally this loop is used whenever we don't know how many iterations will be executed that's why it is also called indefinite loop generally for loop is used to iterate over the sequence in that cases we know how many iterations will be executed see the example program for the while loop so that the topic will be clear to you i assignment 1 while i less than 6 while is a keyword i less than 6 it is a condition so now the i value is 1 na 1 less than 6 true whenever this condition evaluates to true it enters into the loop now observe these two statements are with the same indentation this indicates these two are within the while loop when this condition found to be true it enters into the loop print i i value will be printed that is 1 now next i assignment i plus 1 i becomes 2 because 1 plus 1 we already covered that as long as the given condition is true the statements of the while loop will be executed again and again right after incrementing the i value it should be redirected to again while statement in this case i becomes 2 2 less than 6 that is true again it enters into the loop body print i i value will be printed next i becomes 3 now so with the new value again the condition of the while loop will be checked again it becomes true again these two statements will be executed and so on 
like whenever the i value becomes seven, the condition becomes false. Seven less than six. So when the condition becomes false, it comes out from the while loop, and uh, the statements out of the while loop. Out of the while loop means the statement indentation is equal to the while statement indentation. Then we can say that this print statement is out of the while loop. This statement will be executed. when the while loop terminates clear i hope let us see some example for the better understanding for example i want to print my name five times the general method is we need to write print statement five times right but if you want to print 100 times 1000 times writing the same print statement that many times is not suggestible right in that case generally we use looping concept here also we are implementing the same point see i assignment 1 i less than or equals to 5 because i want to print my name five times the looping variable starts from 1 ends at 5 then coming to the while loop observe here indentation these 5 and 6th statements have the same indentation it indicates 5 and 6 statements are within the while loop then first iteration 1 less than or equals to 5 the condition is true fifth statement will be executed so this name will be printed first time i plus assignment 1 nothing but i value will be incremented by 1 i becomes 2 now just now we covered these two are within the while loop these two statements will be executed as long as the condition is true statements of the while loop will be executed second time so second time the same name will be printed i value will be incremented i value becomes 3 now and the third time also will be printed fourth time will be printed and i value 5 fifth time also will be printed and i value becomes 6 in that case 6 less than or equals to 5 so the condition becomes false so it comes out from the while loop then what are the statements we have out of the while loop those will be executed now see seventh statement is out of the while loop so this statement will be executed when the loop terminates let me execute this now see my name will be printed five times and for the understanding we have written a print statement that will be executed only one time when the while loop terminates see one more example now i want to print the numbers 1 to 5 starting value is 1 so initialize the variable with 1 i less than 6 or you can write i less than or equals to 5 also to our value then give the indentation i want to print i value i value will be incremented by 1 and with the new value again the condition will be checked these two statements will be executed repeatedly okay we discussed the concept just now let us execute this see 1 2 3 4 5 and this is out of the while loop so that will be executed only one time some more important points from this example is suppose if you forget to increment the looping variable it creates an infinite loop for example we are not incrementing the i value what will be happen just see now i assignment 1 1 less than 6 true i value will be printed assume that we don't have this statement i plus assignment 1 statement so next again second iteration same value i value is 1 only 1 less than 6 again true again i value will be printed so like this with the same i value 1 the one will be printed infinite times the loop will not be terminates so you must take care while working with the while loop you must remember to increment the looping variable value and one more important point when you are using any variable as part of the condition here that variable must be initialized for example let me make it as a comment line and execute it see now in this case complete while loop will be skipped initializing the looping variable is compulsory remember this point then see some more example for the better understanding now i want to print even numbers between 1 and 10 then how to write the code starting value is 2 because first even number is 2 starting value is 2 ending value is 10 i value will be printed that is 2 and how to generate next even number because starting even number is 2 na if you add plus 2 then next even number will be generated that's why our logic is i plus assignment 2 nothing but i assignment i plus 2 these two statements will be executed repeatedly execute it 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10. In the same way, I want to print odd numbers between 1 and 10. So, starting value is 1 and ending range is 10. So, while i less than or equals to 10, I want to print the starting value that is 1. So, how to generate the next odd value when we have the 1? If you add plus 2 to the existing odd number, the next odd number will be generated, right? That's why I am writing the statement i assignment i plus 2 or simply i plus assignment 2 to generate the next odd number. When i becomes 11, the loop terminates. Execute it 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. We can write multiple conditions along with the while loop. As of now, we used only single condition. But if you want to write multiple conditions, you can write. Already we covered the topic logical operators. Check that video we have in the Python programming playlist. My intention is to print even numbers between 10 and 20. You can write the logic like this also. Okay. X value will be printed. Next even value will be generated by adding to and this will be executed again and again. These are two statements will be executed as long as these two conditions found to be true. When at least one of these two conditions found to be false, the while loop will be terminated. Execute it. Now see 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 and 20. So like this we can implement while loop. Check your knowledge. What you learned from this video? What is while loop? When do we use while loop? What is indefinite loop? What is infinite loop? If this video is useful to you, please do subscribe the channel, watch the videos, like and share the videos. Thank you.